Thank you very much. Um, this is a daunting task, I'll tell you. So we're going to look at a 40 year time period here. Food waste is humongously complex. So here we go. Um, we all know if you don't count it, it doesn't exist. And believe me, we didn't count food, food waste. Nah, nah, nah. Um, that started in, in the UK, probably about 2010. Um, there was a lot of money. These are very expensive studies to do. A lot of money was put into it. And holy crap. <laughs> they discovered all this. We're not talking, as we say, carrot tops. It's carrots. Huge amount of food waste. But it was all along the value chain. From farmer right through to the consumer. It's incredible. Oh, there we go. We're going to have a very slow presentation. <laughs> this is how I'm getting extra time. <laughs> Method in this matter. 40%. Now, you will see different figures. Some say 30, some say 50. But there is a huge amount of waste all the way along from the farmers who don't harvest things because the apples are too small, the carrots are kind of crooked, etc., etc. There is rigid standards for size, color, shape that means many things you will never get in the supermarket. You'll get them in farmers. And we have a linear system, so it is about extraction, processing, consumption and throw the rest out. This is how our economy works. Keep shopping, keep buying, keep wasting. And we have been blithely sailing along, going through more resources than we are. It's almost seven billion people on one planet. So this linear system is creative waste. It's built in. So what are we going to do? The impacts, just in food, um, a, a research scientist, Dr. Ralph Martin, out of the University of well, started to point this out to us very, very directly. The waste in water, soil nutrients, energy, fertilizers, herbicides, labor, it is rife throughout the system. And not to forget greenhouse gas and methane, because methane is far more powerful than carbon dioxide. <clears throat> so this is the system we've created. Ha, 2050, we've got nine billion people to feed. We're at seven now. So we're wasting 40%. So the pundits are saying, well, we've got to double the amount that we're growing. But we don't have the water. We run out of nutrients, areas we're running out of water. And the system we've created has, has meant one billion people are consistently hungry. And then there's the, the starved and the stuffed we have a billion people that are obese, excessively overweight. So the system we've created now in this linear way, sorry, this, the linear way, yes, is making us sick. We're destroying the planet, and we're still, in Canada, 15% are food insecure on a regular basis. So what is here? This thing called a circular system, you're going to see more and more of this. William McDonough, the architect, wrote about this. Is this a familiar name to you? Yeah. And he talked about cradle to cradle, and it is the circular system. So um, the solid waste world talks about zero waste. Woo. That means no blue boxes, or certainly nothing that will go to landfill. The, 
the manufacturer will own the packaging, they'll own everything, and they'll have to design in this circularity for it to work for them and for us. Sustainable farming, the jury's out on what that is, but it isn't probably industrial farming on the scale that they're doing now. And we need a huge food echo footprint awareness. People are not talking about food waste and thinking about all the environmental impacts and greenhouse gas and methane. They're not. And that's why I hope to get this conversation going tonight and many more. So thank you. Thank you for the extra time. <laughs> <laughs>